Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-May 2021 general tarot update. It's Raina here. So yesterday I was doing some readings and yours was one of the readings that got erased. I don't know why. Um, probably I did it thinking it was an older file. And so I have a whole new spread that I'm going to be doing because I, you know, I had taken the cards off the table by then. So anyway, we're going to have a new moon on Tuesday, at least where I live, it's on the 11th and it's going to be at 21 degrees of Taurus and Taurus is a friendly angle to cancer. It's a sextile. So it's two signs. Uh, away from yours, but in, you know, uh, before you. So this is the eleventh house of hopes and wishes. This is the house that is uh, considered to be the luckiest house, at least by the traditional astrologers. And um, therefore, you know, there was an, a, a modern astrologer who would say to make wishes, maybe like forty wishes. I think I can't remember when you have the new moon in this area. So if you can come up with 40 wishes, go for it. <laughs> that that's, that's quite a lot, but at least, you know, um, if there are long range goals, because this is what that can mean when we say hopes and wishes that you would like to accomplish, you know, I don't think it can hurt to put those down in writing. Why not? So let's see what the cards say for this period of time. Jupiter is going into Cancer. I mean, um, Pisces. So this is um, nice for you. But, you know, it's going to be there just for a few months until 2021. It'll really be in full play. All right, I'm getting some of the same cards over and over again, even when I shuffle. So maybe these are recurring themes for a lot of people right now. The heart of the matter is the strength card. This is a card that's associated with Leo. In terms of how this may be playing out for you, you may be healing from something. You may be getting stronger in your body, in your... Um, confidence levels are improving your self-esteem you're you're feeling better about yourself and if that's the case uh cancer that's wonderful um the the situation can be something where you are being recognized for your talents maybe uh at work or um, maybe he, you have these leadership skills that you're able to, to exercise because you got a promotion, whatever it is, it's making you feel good and capable. And in the past position, sometimes this can explain more about this. We have the 10 of cups. This is a card that's actually really connected to marriage and, you know, the harmony within a family. So any, to me, any kind of like happy emotional outcome that you have been looking for in, Oh, wow. You know, it's very interesting that that strength card is flanked by, um, two tens. The number 10 is a number of completion. And this is the card of the higher message the ten of swords which is actually a card of betrayal so here we have in the past position the ten of cups which is like the happy marriage and then we have this betrayal card as the higher message so the strength is in the middle well in that case now that i'm like putting two and two together i would say that you have endured something where maybe even a dream was shattered within you that you thought you had this perfect situation and it didn't turn out that way. 
And if that is the case, the higher message of the Ten of Swords, um, to me, Cancer, would be that you have to feel that feeling of betrayal. Because you might be too caught up in the happy times. I was just talking about this. I'm, I'm wondering, maybe it was in my first reading um, that I did for you that got erased, where the same theme came up. Um, so what I said then was that I'm always saying on YouTube how sentimental cancer people can be, which I really believe. And what happens is that then you gloss over a current situation with a relationship that is not what it used to be. So, you know, it's a form of denial, obviously. Um, and it's like choosing to see the idyllic times versus the current reality. And it's a way that the mind may protect itself from the grief, the, the, just the, the sadness, the grief, the upset of, um, you know, something that you thought was the pot at the end of the rainbow, which is another um, key phrase for um, the Ten of Cups, didn't turn out that way. And sometimes it's hard to like shift, to make that shift to the new reality of the situation. What crosses you is the Empress. Now, um, the Empress is a card of motherhood. It's a card of um, the artist, the... Um, divine feminine and sometimes these things get distorted because of things that have happened in your past things beliefs that you have taken um to mean something that they really don't mean the for instance if you are a mother um and you want to preserve your family and you're in a situation where your uh significant other is cheating, that doesn't mean that you have to stay in such a situation to preserve the family because it might be better not to be in that situation. It might be better for the children not to, to be in that kind of environment. Um, there is this, there's also the material preoccupation that can happen with um, cancer people because of their desire for security. So that has to be de-emphasized in order to really make decisions that are going to benefit you in a holistic way, not just one aspect of yourself, if you understand what I'm getting at. Okay, I got to make sure with these cards. Okay, this is a sword. What is coming in is the Six of Swords. Um, I did get this for another sign but in the um challenge position six of swords is leaving behind what doesn't serve you um well it's it's not that that's more of the eight of cups i mean leaving behind a um a, a, a situation full of conflicts or drama and choosing peace in your life and um so with the Ten of Swords can come possible arguments or at least a cold war between the two parties. And yes, you are gaining confidence. So you're deciding, do I deserve this? And you're going to decide that you don't need this in your life, that you, that you are deserving of more. Actually, in June, which is a lot of, well, no, not a lot. That's when the sun goes into Cancer. But before that, there's going to be a solar eclipse in Gemini. And that is um, the 12th house for Cancer. So that can be something uh, of a karmic uh, situation with new developments. 
and and you know kind of like uh, the 12th house is that unfinished business but these are some kind of new beginnings that have a spiritual theme to them and um what, the reason you know i always say spiritual 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 is because when people focus too much on the world or the mundane events in their lives, they can lose that perspective of what is really going on. Those mundane events are temporary. You know, the soul is eternal. And, and uh, so anything that is temporary doesn't have a lot of ultimate importance, even though in the moment, of course, of course it seems like, oh my gosh, what's, what has happened here? But that's another thing, too, like if you do have uh, an emotional betrayal, if somebody, you know, like with a partner and they have like cheated on you, let's say, and you were clearly the victim of that, maybe they, you know, just downright lied to you and misled you, even in those circumstances, you can choose how you respond to that and you can... You know, you don't have to add more karma to that situation by your uh, refusal to accept the truth. You're trying to hold on to this relationship. The more that you can just kind of flow with that, that reality, um, it can be very um, freeing. And not just in the, you know, short term, but just for your um, spiritual growth uh, you know, for all time, you know, um, it can, it can be like something where, and you can actually, in those types of situations, you will find that, that, that relationship wasn't, um, how it should have been, even if you didn't specifically know that that person was cheating, there was probably something that was off about it. And now you're kind of free from that. And the outcome is the Daughter of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. And this is a card of, um, I'm going to actually pick another card. I got that. I think I got that in the same position for another sign. This is about being um, very alert uh, about your surroundings. So if you feel like you were fooled, by betrayed by someone, now you're hyper vigilant. But um, it's... It's not necessarily um, a good thing uh, because the damage has been done. And now, I mean, yes, you could say um, that you're going to be wise to what's going on in the future and you're not going to allow yourself to have that happen again. But if um, it means that you are paranoid, you know, about everybody's intentions, that would not be good. So let me pick another card. Okay justice okay well you know one thing that the um one thing that that the uh page of swords can be is the spy and so i could think of someone hiring a private detective um if they have discovered that their partner has been cheating and of course this could be like in a in another setting the reason i say I'm, I've been focusing on relationships is because of the Ten of Cups. It does have a very distinct connection to family matters. But um, the Justice card is about, you know, getting um, getting, a, a, um, you know, the, the um, something to, to do in your favor, you know, the, the right decision in your favor because you feel that you were the one that was wrong, this other person. So this could be like a business uh, matter, I suppose. Anything where you have come out of it, the, the strength card can also be broadly interpreted. I mean, somebody could have had an addiction and they didn't realize at the time that they were being, um, their business partner was cheating, was stealing from them. And it was only when they got sober that they began to see all of the problems. This has happened um, 
before, like, you know, to famous people who had, you know, financial managers and things like that. Um, and, and they were exploited by that person. But again, um, yeah, even like an inheritance, and things like that. I mean, you thought that you thought that you could trust people and they screwed you over. And so it's the, the page of sorts to me in that context is about documenting everything so that you can have your day in court. And then, you know, I drew this on, I drew the justice card upright. So it seems that you will be the victor in that situation. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this cancer. And if you would like a personal reading, I'm doing double readings, um, as a promotion. Um, I mean, you know, I, th I think I'll probably keep them, uh, they're at a special price. Um, I mean, they, they're, they're very, you know, they're discounted quite a bit, um, compared to if you bought two full length readings separately, but, um, anyway, so that's called the deep dive double chart reading and I have other readings as well. The link is below. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.